Oakville Manor, standing ominously in the heart of the sleepy town of Verity, was an old Victorian mansion known for its grim past. People seldom ventured near, and when they did, it was always with a wary glance at the ancient, sinister structure. This was the setting of a series of horrifying events that were all too real, experienced by one unfortunate family in the summer of 2023. The Clarksons, a family of five, moved into Oakville Manor in July that year. They consisted of the father, David, a historian, the mother, Catherine, a successful novelist, and their three children, Lucas, a brooding teenager, Ellie, an enthusiastic 10-year-old, and Bella, a curious toddler. The Clarksons moved to Verity seeking a quiet life, far removed from the hustle and bustle of the city they had left behind. Little did they know, they were walking right into the jaws of horror. David, attracted by the antiquity of the manor, planned to write a historical record about it. Catherine saw the manor as the perfect backdrop for her next gothic horror novel. Their dreams soon turned into nightmares. The first few weeks were uneventful. However, as the Clarkson settled into the manor, strange things started happening. It started with small things, objects disappearing and reappearing, strange noises and cold spots. Lucas, known for his skepticism, tried to rationalize these occurrences, attributing them to the old creaky house and his family's imagination. But then, more sinister events unfolded. Ellie was the first to see her. A woman, in Victorian-era clothing, her eyes hollow, her face white as bone. The apparition would always appear at midnight, at the end of Ellie's bed, just standing, staring at the young girl with an inscrutable expression. Terrified, Ellie shared her experiences with her family. At first, they dismissed it as her vivid imagination, fueled by the eerie ambiance of the manor. Then one night, as David was up late, researching the history of the manor, he saw her too, the woman. He felt a sudden chill, his room plunged into an unnatural cold. As he looked up, he saw her standing in the corner of his study, watching him, the room filled with a sickening smell of decay. The specter disappeared as suddenly as she had appeared, leaving a horrified David in her wake. Despite their fear, David and Catherine decided to stay. Catherine thought that the apparition was perhaps a tormented soul, trapped within the confines of the manor. Being a novelist, she saw an opportunity to draw inspiration for her next book. David, too, thought that understanding the manor's history could perhaps provide some context for these disturbing occurrences. David's research led him to the story of Lady Elizabeth, a resident of the manor in the late 19th century. Lady Elizabeth, a well-respected figure in society, had a dark secret. She was a practitioner of dark arts and was rumored to have gone mad in her quest for eternal life. This quest allegedly led her to commit terrible deeds, including the sacrifice of her own children. Elizabeth was discovered and ostracized by the community, dying in isolation within the manor. It was believed her restless spirit haunted the manor. The Clarksons were torn between their fear and the fascination of living in a real-life horror story. But the horror escalated when Bella, who had just started speaking, started talking to invisible friends and behaving oddly. She would often be found in rooms she couldn't possibly reach by herself, talking and laughing with an unseen entity. Worried for her safety, the Clarksons decided they needed help. They enlisted the help of a renowned paranormal investigator, Dr. Helena Martin, who arrived at Oakville Manor with her team and an array of equipment. The investigators conducted a series of experiments, capturing multiple instances of paranormal activity, temperature drops, electromagnetic field fluctuations, and even a spectral figure caught on thermal camera. The apparition was identified as Lady Elizabeth. The investigation reached a fever pitch one night when the team decided to attempt communication with the spirit. A session with the spirit board saw the entity identifying itself as Elizabeth, making clear her displeasure at the intrusion and threatening to harm the family. Panic ensued as objects began to levitate around the room, and Bella suddenly fell ill. The Clarksons knew they needed to get out. Dr. Martin recommended an exorcism to cleanse the manor. A local priest was called in who performed an intense ritual lasting several hours. The Clarksons watched in terrified anticipation as the priest invoked holy incantations, challenging the spirit of Elizabeth to leave their family in peace. The air was filled with a deafening silence, punctuated by the priest's powerful voice. The house seemed to shake as if protesting against the ritual, 
and the tension reached its zenith as a loud, agonizing scream echoed through the manor. And then, silence. Exhausted but hopeful, the family spent a restless night in the house. When morning came, the manor seemed lighter, less foreboding. In the following days, the Clarksons noted that the strange occurrences had stopped. The spectral figure of Elizabeth was nowhere to be seen, and even Bella seemed her usual cheerful self. The exorcism appeared to have worked. The Clarksons decided to sell Oakville Manor and move to a more welcoming neighborhood, hoping to leave the terrifying experience behind. The manor, now cleansed, stood as a grim reminder of its haunting past. The tale of the Clarksons' ordeal spread throughout Verity, making Oakville Manor a symbol of the town's horrifying history, a real-life horror story that would continue to chill the bones of those who dared to remember it.